in the managerial round they told me like ki you are not from uh, btech background so we would like to move forward with other students this is sad so uh, i don't look myself as a uh, employee mm -hmm. i really look myself as a student because i i have seen one of my friend got uh, around 25 machine learning uh, projects in my resume instead of doing uh, exploratory data analysis hello data lovers so i am back with another super amazing and really really motivating podcast for all the aspiring data scientists and this podcast will be a true motivation for all such kind of people who belong to a completely non tech background like ba arts this kind of background and want to move into the tech industry that to in data science data analytics data engineering again i have invited a really talented boy who belong to such kind of bachelor's of art sort of background but currently working as a data scientist with his personal experience and journey he also want to help other people who want to move into data science kind of domain but belongs to a really different background so watch this podcast till the very end so that you can get all those meaningful information and values from his journey and his personal experience and before even starting hit the like button quickly so that this inspiring story can reach to maximum number of aspiring data scientists thank you so much akshat for joining me in this podcast and really excited first of all to have this sort of podcast where someone is coming from the art backgrounds and making it into data science but it would be really great if you can give your short introduction to the audience or anything you want to talk about your past academic and professional background first of all hello my name is akshat kumar nisad and uh, i am from giridi jharkhand and uh, i have completed my graduation in english honors from other scholars same from my hometown and uh, right now i am a project engineer at ojas solutions i am in uh, data science team basically so i am working with ml ml things and uh, data science things you graduated in 2020 itself from the art backgrounds so suddenly what happened that how did you come to know about the data science and data analytics domain and how this transition triggered like i'm i'm just completely blown by looking at your journey how did it happen so uh, yeah i mean it it looks quite different but uh, you know at the uh, when i was in third semester then uh, someone told me uh, about uh, this it sector so i get fascinated about it and then i started uh, my research on uh, different fields then i get to know about data analytics and data science and from that time i started studying about data science you know i i, I simply started with python and other things so uh, this was my starting point okay and who was that guy who who was someone who who motivated you and who guided you to uh, go into this it field who was that person so basically he is a, a scientific officer in iit patna his wow. name is sandeep kishor Mm -hmm. and uh, one more person uh, her name is alina so mm -hmm. basically we all did it together as you moved from this kind of background uh, akshat right so during college you decided your transition into this data science domain how did you find a proper road map for data science right this is something which most of the people might be looking for uh, anyone who is in the same background like you So, if you can specify all those important skill set, how did you acquire them, and uh, how did you just prepare all those road map? Uh, yeah, sure. So, uh, first of all, uh, uh, as as you also know that uh, in you know in English honors uh, thing, we don't have a lot to study. Uh, then you know that when I get to know about data science, so then I started learning from Python. So I. went to the youtube and i started learning from the free from from free courses and then uh, you know i went to the coursera and then from there i completed a, a certificate program which is google data analytics professional certificate mm -hmm. uh, after completing that i uh, i have joined function up and that was the turning point so basically uh, whatever i was studying uh, was like a <laughs> like a drop in the ocean so uh, then i get to know a lot about things and i started moving forward with curriculums first of all i would like to mention about excel so basically everyone think thinks that excel is very small but uh, when i get uh, when i get to know more about excel then i mean it was a lot so for, uh, in at function of first we went through excel then we went 
for SQL, then Python, then basic stats, and then uh, ML or uh, basic ML thing. So uh, definitely, uh, if 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 a person want to move from a different background, then he or she can follow uh, this thing, and definitely this will work. That also help you to get job ready because acquiring the skill set is one thing, right? I can read. Uh, this and that skill set and I am equipped with the right skill set but what about being job ready that is a different stuff right so that was also there yeah so at function up uh, uh, I mean ki I also get you know professional training like communication and uh, guesstimates and case studies whatever you need you will get there so mm -hmm. basically whatever they offered they gave me and they they really you know ki took the study as a in a professional way so that uh, you can also evolve or develop according to that industry mm -hmm. so and uh, uh, i would like to mention about mentors they also help a lot i mean basically uh, if you are cu curious about things then definitely they uh, help and uh, they really solve the, your doubts and other things you were from ba background and had no idea about tech first of all coding right as you mentioned excel all these things were completely new you had no idea about it so during this journey how many time you felt demotivated because data science is very vast domain and even the techies sometimes feels it's very complex to understand so just during that journey how many times you felt demotivated and which skill set did you find very tough to acquire for a person who's coming from a background like you so share all those moments with us so uh, yeah definitely in the start when i was studying python as i already mentioned so uh, that time i really felt demotivated many times because you know you also know that the programming language is whole different thing for a uh, student who is from different background mm -hmm. so uh, that time uh, uh, Alina helped me a lot because she is also doing uh, P.Tech in computer science. Mm -hmm. So she really helped me a lot, and uh, uh, with with the help of her, I I did it. Uh, you know, ki I mentioned everything uh, in my mind that I have to make a roadmap for Python. Like I will go from basics to advanced. So this this was the phase when I felt demotivated, and uh, but I did it at the end. So uh, after that, I never felt that. As a self-motivation, what was that thing which kept you moving into this direction? What was that motivating spark? Yeah, so uh, uh, I mean, I am very curious person. I really like to know about technologies and other things. So uh, when I started exploring about data science, then I get to know about uh, uh, SQL, so how we can manipulate the data from database and then I get to know about machine learning. Mm -hmm. When I get to know about machine learning, I started, you know, uh, <laughs> started uh, looking about the courses and other things so that uh, I can also do the same uh, how people are doing for, uh, in industry. Mm -hmm. So, uh, first of all, I started with linear regression uh, as you also know. <laughs> So uh, that was a very cool moment for me and now I am doing uh, good in it. So basically at the end uh, I felt demotivated because of mathematics mm -hmm. uh, but uh, when, uh, when I started working on it uh, I started ba from basics so it was uh, not that much barrier. But yeah, uh, mathematics is something which you have to keep in your mind. I would definitely ask the audience to hit a like for this, this thing first of all because of his journey and Please feel free to share your challenging moments in the comment section as well. Let's say you started with the data science. Which skill set do you think very difficult to acquire? And what are those moments which even kept you motivating to move forward in this direction? So share all these things with me as well. While applying for the jobs, did companies raise any concern for your educational background? Because uh, even if you look at the job description, you will find that they have mentioned B.Tech, B.Sc, M.Sc, these kind of backgrounds, not Arts or B.A, B.A, Honours, English, especially for the tech jobs. 
so did any company raise any concern for your background yeah so uh, yeah i mean ki this question is very good so basically i would like to say about this uh, that i got selected in my fourth or fifth interview mm-hmm. uh, or fourth or fifth company you can say so uh, first of all uh, few there were few companies like actually i passed all the uh, exams or all their assignments and their interview but uh, at the end uh, in the managerial round they told me like ki you are not from uh, btech background so we would like to move forward with other students this is sad so uh, but uh, uh, when it comes to ojas solutions where right now i am working in so uh, here uh, you will see a total whole total uh, environment where people are trying and you know uh, they they also want to see like how uh, P, uh, student from different background do and uh, as uh, i want to tell you like uh, i recently got a quick learner award from ojas solutions great uh, after completing multiple projects and delivering it as soon as possible how i was able to convince the hrs or company so basically uh, i would like to say that uh, i really mentioned uh, machine learning uh, projects in my resume instead of doing uh, exploratory data analysis mm-hmm. so uh, definitely that was catchy so i got uh, shortlisted for many companies mm-hmm. and finally landed in a job after these kind of hard work great so those companies who rejected you right it is their loss first of all and that's why i'm saying it's very very sad even companies now are nowadays just believe on the uh, college tag or the background i think this is not the right way to recruit the people being a fresher it would be really difficult first of all uh, to get many job opportunities specific to data science role but if we have a strong portfolio like really good projects on our resume we can definitely seek the attention of the companies so what kind of projects did you work on can you give some ideas to the audience who are watching this podcast so that they can also build something around it if they are completely new to it so uh, first of all i would like to say about uh, sequels project so i started working on hacker rank then i moved to strata scratch and then i moved to data lemur and uh, this is the step where you will get to know more about sequel and how to manipulate the data in right way uh, so basically uh, hacker rank was for basic thing then strata scratch was for intermediate and then hacker uh, data lemur was for uh, industrial thing mm-hmm. uh, basically you will get a lot of question uh, there mm-hmm. uh, now uh, for uh, python i started working with uh, exploratory data analysis after doing some uh, three or four projects of eda then i move for uh, normal regression thing Uh, in machine learning and uh, uh, after doing two or three projects i started working with uh, some high level uh, projects like black friday sales or sales prediction mm-hmm. and uh, uh, this was the thing which i mentioned in my resume and uh, uh, hrs or company really uh, preferred this since you are from a different background can you also throw some light on the interview process right as someone who is at your experience level coming from a different background so how that interview process will look like number of interview rounds and in each round what kind of questions uh, right can be thrown on a candidate and what would be the expectation from a candidate yeah so uh, first of all uh, in the first round you will get uh, assignment link mm-hmm. where you will get a uh, simple logical questions uh, it might be in form of aptitude or coding questions so after completing that uh, you will have to go for a second round which will be technical round so and there uh, people will ask uh, only basic questions uh, not a high level question because at the end if your basic is clear then you can also do the advanced portion so uh, yeah so definitely they uh, go for basic one and uh, third one they go for live coding mm-hmm. uh, they will uh, really give you some questions and tell you to solve their uh, uh, ongoing problems uh, so uh, once you uh, do well in that then they will go for managerial or final round managerial round can also be technical or just like random behavioral question right which has no relation with tech how was that round so yeah definitely uh, it can be like in a form of case study guesstimate mm-hmm. 
and definitely you can mix it with behavioral round okay so uh, it will be all of them okay. uh, as a fresher right what is the minimum and maximum range we can expect in terms of the salary if we target the data science role uh, maybe i will not touch upon the tier one companies but the good product based companies or the companies you have targeted so far what kind of minimum and maximum range of salary you have seen so uh, definitely uh, you can say uh, uh, your salary will somewhere start from 5 lpa and can definitely go for 26 or 30 because i i have seen one of my friend got uh, around 25 so uh, yeah this is like uh, it, it definitely depends on your knowledge and skills mm-hmm. how you are evolving yourself and how you are doing so definitely if you are a quick learner and you are really passionate about things mm-hmm. then definitely you will get uh, get paid this much amount of uh, salary okay are you satisfied with your compensation and the current work you are doing yeah so definitely uh, as you can also see i am from different mm-hmm. background so this is just a learning phase for me not uh, really i'm not i i don't look myself as a uh, employee mm-hmm. i really look myself as a student so definitely i don't look money right now mm-hmm. but definitely i will go after a year <laughs> it's just a thing okay okay i personally enjoyed it felt motivated if the folks uh, who are from the background like you if they can do that they can move into these kind of job profiles tech profiles i think then we should not put any sort of excuse that we are not able to do that we feel demotivated if akshat can do it you are a really really great example so thanks for setting up that bar and uh, personally i enjoyed it thank you so much akshat for spending time with us and sharing your life journey motivating other aspiring data professionals data scientists i hope they will also learn something from from your journey so thank you so much and thank you from the audience side as well so first of all it's uh, not about uh, background if you are curious about learning something then you can classify people in two way first who learn deeply second who learn from upper side and uh, execute in real life so i take myself in second category and this way you will get to learn more because when you will face challenges or errors you can say in technical term then you will get to know how to fix those mm-hmm. errors so uh, this is the thing uh, which people can mention uh, when if they want to start yeah, this is great very great analogy and great efforts right i really appreciate uh, akshit the the way you achieved your success all the very best for your future uh, thank you so that is what i had in this podcast i'm pretty sure you would have enjoyed every single moment which happened in akshat's life and most important part the motivation the motivation part is something which is the most important key take away from this podcast because of his background moving from ba kind of degree to data science profile is truly amazing so if you find it meaningful if you find it informative make sure to hit the like button also do not forget to check out upcoming boot camps by function up for data science program link is in the description and again if you are new to the channel and want to listen these kind of amazing podcast in near future then smash the subscribe button and press the notification icon i will see you guys in the next week with another amazing podcast till then just keep exploring data